Is it another dark, darker mode? You know, it's not a dark mode. Oh. But it's almost as bad, yeah. right? Uh, <laughs> so Microsoft has been telling us for a while that the next major update to Windows 10 is coming, which is called, uh, oops, I just scrolled past it. There it is. The 21H2 update, mm -hmm. right? Which is supposed to be the second half of 2021. Is that from uh, Hummer? Hummer as well, sure. H2. Yeah, 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 just like that. It is an H2. And, uh, <laughs> and so the uh, the update is coming soon, and you might ask yourself, what constitutes a major update? Obviously, it's major, so there's going to be some big features. In the the H updates, that's when they roll out new features, not like the security fixes that roll out all year long. Well, in this particular case, their major update is a little underwhelming. Okay, hold on, you, drum roll? You want a drum roll? Sure. Okay, you ready? All right. All right, go ahead, Don. What do we got? Uh, first off, HDR support for color-managed apps, which if you're a graphics designer or a video editor you might care about, the rest of us, is absolutely dumb. I just peed. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It has nothing to do with this. Uh, yeah. The one a lot of people have been talking about is they're changing the default system font. They're switching hmm. to a variable font that looks okay. better on larger and smaller screens. What's their font now? Is it Sego UI, Kurt? isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it is Cal Calibri, Calibri or something yeah. like that. Calibri. Yeah, and so now they're switching to Sego UI variable. Uh, ah. They're doing this so they can use one font across small mobile devices all mm. the way up to large tablets and even TVs. Well, so, that seems like a legitimate reason. One to font to rule like, them all. Yeah, trying to make a better experience at the end for everyone. But have you ever like switched operating systems because of a font? <laughs> No. So, all right, not a, no. not a major feature then. Yeah. No, not, not a major feature. <laughs> yeah, I won't use Comic that. Sans Linux anymore yeah. because of that. <laughs> Done with that. Huh? Yeah. They are introducing a new feature that if you've used Macs, you've uh, had for a long, long time, which is when you restart your computer, it can automatically launch the applications that were running prior to you rebooting in the first place, which is neat. That's very nice, actually. Although in the preview, it only worked with Windows Store apps, which is basically <laughs> useless. Um, I don't know if they've rolled that out to include other non-Windows Store apps. I thought they were going to troll us like, it only works tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully it will also reopen the uh, application that caused your system to lock up in the first place. <laughs> yeah. Just creating an this endless this loop. loop of, uh, well, this is done. Now, uh, thanks to the pandemic, they have rolled in some new camera settings. So if you have a, like if you install a Logitech camera on your system, you can't adjust a lot of stuff until you download the Logitech software. If you want to do like manual focus, change the contrast and all that. Well, Microsoft is starting to bake some of that in for a lot of cameras. So that'll help out now that the pandemic is ending and people are going back to work just in time for us not to need the cameras anymore. Uh, but that's starting to roll out. That's a tricky um, one when they don't own the, the hardware. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we'll see where that one ends up. Otherwise, it's just some really light UI stuff that's changing. Not what I would describe as a significant update. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I take the update and don't even notice it. Hmm. Well, you'll be like, hey, this font looks a little, a little different. I don't know that I'm going to notice and that. I didn't really care. <laughs> If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.